Hello, this is Marcus again and today we're going to compare a better route planner on Android with Android Auto and a better route planner on the iPhone with Apple CarPlay. We're going from the beautiful town of Palmella. Look at the background. Views over everywhere obviously because we're high up, it's a castle. So let's look what I've got here. So I've got an Android phone. This is actually a Samsung Galaxy A52. This is a mid-range phone. And the most interesting thing about this phone is that it's blue. Um, it cost around 300 euros, so we're not using a 1,000 euro phone. And a good thing with this phone, because it's got Android 11, it can communicate to um, this car using radio waves. So there's no need to plug it in with wires. On the way back, we're going to compare it to this iPhone. This is an iPhone SE. It's probably one of the cheaper iPhones. The thing to note about this is that it's red. It's 500 euros. So if you're thinking about getting a new phone and you want to use a better route plan, which phone should you get? iPhone SE or this mid-range Android. Last time I talked about a better route planner, we used an Android phone which had EV Notify connected to OBDC. And then we had an iPhone connected to a better route planner on Apple CarPlay. Now there's a new app come out called Tronity. Let's click on Tronity. Now Tronity finds out the battery status of the car. So how does it do that? So it's actually logging into the Volkswagen server. So you have to actually give it your user log on for WeConnect ID. And from that, it can actually get to the information about the car. Here we've got the battery level of the car. There you can see it says 76%. And here it's saying 76%. So it's actually getting the battery level from the car um, using the 4G or 3G network. So we don't need an ODB device now. Now to get a better route planner with Android Auto, you have to actually pay five euros a month. If you pay that five euros a month, you actually get Tronity for free. And Tronity, if I look at settings here, um, has third party services. The third party service here is a better route planner. So this will actually send the information about the battery to a better route planner. So now I've opened Android Auto. So here we've got a better route planner here. This is just a beta version. So you have to look, download the special beta version from the Android app store of a better route planner if you want it on Android Auto, but let's click on this. It seems quite stable so far, but we will see on this trip to Evera, which is about an hour's drive from here. So let's see, let's do search here. Let's search somewhere, um, Evera, Evera. Oh look, it's coming up. It's quite quick actually. So let's check in route. And it's given us the route to Evera. It's saying here, one hour, one minute, 96.2 kilometers. Currently 31 degrees outside. Yeah, actually in the app, it's saying 76%. So it's actually getting the percentage from Tronity. So I don't know why here it's saying 62%. Is this a bug? Perhaps this is the first bug with Android Auto. Let's see if that updates as we go along. Here it's given me the percentage on arrival, 33%. Let's see if that updates. And I think we've got voice. That's mute on, mute off. Now on a better route planner, it actually comes with traffic notifications. So it will reroute you if there's bad traffic, etc. Um, so it seems like a fully functioning mapping system. On here, I can't seem to be able to zoom in turn and left, out. Then turn right. So this is a better route planner saying turn left and then turn right. So we're going to turn left down here. So that seems to be working. Turn Let's right. Go down here. Turn right. So right would be going down here. We're going to go down this nice hill here. If we can't zoom in, what does that do? That must lock the orientation. So the orientation doesn't move. But I can't zoom in and it does seem a bit too zoomed in to be honest. And it doesn't seem too zoomed out. I'd prefer if I could change the zoom in levels. In 100 meters, go right at the roundabout, first exit. Well, the voice does seem a bit robotic. It seems like um, GPS navigation from Go a right at the roundabout, ago. first exit. It's saying here, turn right in 200 meters, but I'm sure we have to turn left in 200 meters. A bit strange. Because on there- it In 100 like meters, turn right. Saying turn right. But in fact, we have to turn left. And here it's saying second exit, but turning right you see so there seems to be some slight problem with the navigation turn right then go sharp left at the roundabout second exit so it says turn right and go sharp left strange yes yeah, so it's saying go right but go left so in fact we are going left because i know the route but a bit strange how it did that perhaps it's just a layout of the roundabout it says go right and sharp left let's see if there's telling us the speed limit here 60 kilometers an hour oh look Absolutely amazing. It's actually showing me this. Can you see that? It's actually showing me the directions here 
on this small screen here so it seems android auto now is working with this mapping system here because before this would only work with id3 mapping information but actually it's coming up here so the android auto is actually working with this screen here so i can see exactly my directions on here without looking over there that's absolutely amazing so it's telling me to turn slight right but here the information is not so clear but here the information is perfectly clear in 100 meters keep right at the fork keep right that's correct and here it's saying keep right as well because we're going towards spain in terms of fluidness of navigation it seems to be working fine it seems to be very fluid so far happy extremely happy we're getting given information here as well yeah this is actually beating my expectations and here it's telling us the speed limit is 120 kilometers an hour saying the battery is at 75 percent let's check if the battery is actually at 75 percent still perhaps it is yes still at 75 percent we'll check in a minute click there to get back to android auto let's see it seems to be working 74 percent did you see that and it's gone down and it's staying we'll get there with 45 percent let's just double check the battery yes oh the battery is saying 75 percent give it a minute hmm why is it saying 75 percent and that's saying 74 percent just to let you know if we look at the id map the id map doesn't have the directions on it but this here does because this is coming from a better route planner so let's go back in here let's check now easily i think we can turn off the sound just by pressing this button here turn that off we can put it into this display so it's more um, like that you can choose which one you prefer it seems so this is saying 68 percent now there's something i've noticed here with trinity so if we actually go into the vehicle it's saying 68 percent as well so what i've noticed is sometimes this is one percent out but only one percent out so 68 percent there and this is 60 percent here so sometimes they can be one percent out what i've noticed so far on this trip but that's absolutely fine and then we're saying 46 because it did say we were going to arrive there with 45 percent so it is actually updating this percentage here which is great so you know exactly which what percentage you're going to arrive at so please remember to click subscribe i'm bringing you this beautiful portuguese countryside so here let's check this we're at 54 percent here the battery that's fine check in here what's it saying 56 percent oh so there's a two percent difference now oh so we're going to get there with 46 percent saying we have to turn off in 2.4 kilometers there as you can see um it's also saying it here as well where we have to turn off In 300 meters, keep right at the fork. So, why is it saying keep right at the fork when here it's saying keep left? There's some slight problems here. We don't want to keep right, we actually want to keep left. So, there's some problem there. We actually want to go towards Evera, which is keep left. Keep right at the fork. So, it's saying we go there and do a U turn. So, that's a problem there. That's not good. Because you're not going to go on that road there and do a U turn. We should actually be going around this way to get to Evera so i'm not sure the navigation on here is 100 percent it does seem like their navigation system is like an old gps system it doesn't work quite as well as it should and i've seen this before but the rest is perfect the the calculation of the battery percentage when you arrive works really well so now we're almost coming up to evra what do i think about a better route plan on android auto so a couple of niggles with the navigation hopefully they improve that um but overall it's been fluid we searched forever it came up quickly um, it's got this here so it's actually interacting with the id3 here um, with this here um, yeah it, it just seems simple easy to use and it's given us the percentage in this here so i'd say for android auto pretty good actually a better route planner even though it's a beta version is pretty good on android auto now let's try the iphone with apple carplay so apple carplay now here it's not in beta a better route planner so let's choose a better route planner here so we're still in evra and we want to go towards palmela no we don't want to go towards um, madrid and navigation yes palmela hmm. the problem is the map's not correct all right let's search can we search on here plan perhaps that's it plan plan oh this is looking different so we're going to search for palmela because we're going back home now Palmella Stubble, that's good. Loading route. So it's loading route. So it knows we're here in Evera and we're going here to Palmella. So let's do launch. So 44% it's saying the car batteries are. I'm not sure that's correct. Um, it seems until you get going, it's never correct. Uh, so here's the try on the 
Electronity app on the iPhone, same as in the Android. We're currently charging, because I'm charging before we go home. Um, so it's saying we're charging, so that's a great thing about Tronity app. But it's only saying 44% there. But it, it seems it doesn't work until we get going. So we're going to see if that works. And it's saying here, charge for seven minutes to get to 51%. It's probably thinking to get, actually, that's a good thing. It's probably calculating what percentage we need to charge to so it's actually gone to 67 percent here so it's saying charge to zero minutes to get to 51 percent so it's actually telling me because i'm on a charger is absolutely amazing is that i don't need to charge anymore to get to my destination i don't need to charge anymore but i'm going to charge up to 80 percent anyway so that's working really well and now this is using something called mapbox so that's working really well so we're going to see if apple carplay works just as well or better than a better route planner on android auto we charged up to 80 percent there you can see the 80 percent it's saying we get to destination we're 51 percent let's go so now we're going back it's saying we're at 80 percent it's saying we get back home with 49 percent um can we have speech because the other one was given a speech wasn't it hmm so i don't know how to get speech on this because it's not giving us navigation speech giving us alternatives I guess there's a way to do it. I may stop the car in a bit and see if you turn on the speech setting from the phone because it's not giving us any navigation speech, is it? And something else that's bad. Something else I don't like, it's not giving us navigation here. On the Android, it gave us navigation here. But on the um, iPhone, it's not giving us navigation here. It's just giving it, it here. It does look better here than on the Android, to be honest. The lines are bigger. It looks better. It does look better here. But here it's worse because it's not giving us the ID3 uh, map information. Setting over there and on the iPhone, it's actually gone into dark mode. Before it was more brighter, but it's gone into dark mode. So that's actually a very good thing for night driving on iOS. We didn't test that on Android, but I think Android was already quite dark to start with. It's saying the battery's at 79%. Let's check that, shall we, vehicle? 79% there as well, so so far, that's spot on. Oh, look at that red sunset over there. I don't know how you can see it, but it looks really great from here. So that actually, on the Android here, where it was showing me the navigation here, I knew how many kilometers I was going to turn off, etc. Here, I don't know. Here, it's not showing it to me on the ID3 um, dash here. It's only showing it to me here. So on the Android um, Auto, that's definitely a big bonus. Uh, here we go now, it's giving us the information, 900 meters, we have to turn off towards Lisbon. But there's nothing here. And I don't hear anything, so when we stop the car, we'll check. Uh, here, it's giving us a speed limit as well, 90. Was doing that on Android as well. But the map here does look nicer than the one did on Android, than the map on Android. Doesn't seem to be doing any funny navigation yet. Another thing, it does seem very fluid as well. It seems just as fluid as it was on Android. But this may depend on the car you've got. Beautiful sunset there. On the way back to Palmela. So we're going towards the, the west. So we just look at this sunset going back towards Palmela. So just gonna stop here and see if there's a way for me to put navigation on the phone. And hopefully we should have voice controlled navigation because I've turned it on on the phone. Hopefully that sent that to the um, to the Apple CarPlay. Here we can have satellite view. So we can see what it looks like um, with satellite view on Android, auto, it seemed we couldn't have satellite view. So here, if you like satellite view, you can get that on the um, iPhone version. Oh yeah, it's updated now. So yes, the battery's updated. Seems to always take a while when you first get into the car for it to update properly. So yes, it's at 74%. Say we're gonna to get to Palmela, we have 49%. Let's just, just double check the car. Um, yeah, 73%, so 1% off, so that's fine, 1% off. You can actually hear navigation, because I haven't heard navigation yet, it should be on. The, uh, the audio's on on the car, so there's no reason why it shouldn't work. Here, it's still saying we're going to arrive with 49%. It's saying the battery's at 70%. Let's see the actual battery figure according to the car. It's saying 69%, so 1% difference. That's still fine. I don't think else I'm missing here. Yeah, here it's telling me my arrival time. I shook it at 9.55, so it's working now. Before it wasn't working. Um, yeah, so it's 9.20 it's now. I should get there at 9.55. Um, 36 minutes, and it's 62 kilometers away. So this information here seems exactly the same as what we had on Android. It's telling us the top speed, 120 kilometers now. It seems to be working fine. Can we zoom in and out while we're driving? Yeah, you can zoom in and out while you're driving. And if we want to get back to there, we just hit 
that and I think that really centers everything. Oh no, that shows us the whole route. That's got a good feature. That shows us the whole route. And then you see the whole route there. And then if we click on that again, does that center us in? How do we get back to center? Oh yeah, if we press that, if we press that, we get back to center again, you see? And it's still 26 degrees outside and it's 20 past nine. Just love this weather. I've noticed something here, there's a red dot here. So does this, that mean there's traffic or something? I don't know. Because uh, when you paid for the five euros, you do get real traffic alerts now. So we're going to go past here in a minute and see what this red means. I definitely don't think we're gonna have a traffic jam. So as you see, there's no cars. All the excitement. Oh yes, look at that. It's working perfectly. It's warning us that there's one of these vans here parked on the side of the road, a bit like um, Waze would. So it actually knew that there was some danger here. It was actually showing it on this map. But it didn't warn us because normally on Waze you'd have an audible warning. So it did know there was that van there and it has actually showed it to us on this map here. So that's actually quite good. Now here in a minute, we're coming up to the motorway. So I wonder if it's going to give us voice um, commands. So far I haven't heard anything. And here you see the turnings coming up here. So we have to turn, we have to continue straight really towards Lisbon. I haven't seen anything yet. Let's see if we get voice commands. So in fact here we don't actually turn, we just keep going straight even though we go onto another motorway. Perhaps that's why we haven't got any voice commands so far. So 11 minutes to get to our destination. It's saying the battery's going to be at 47% when we arrive. Um, it's saying the battery's currently at 53% in the car. Let's check, shall we? 52%, so 1% out, that's fine. I've said in that. In 500 meters. So it just says in 500 meters, not nothing else. Bizarre, because on the Android one, I'm sure it said in 500 meters, turn right. It just says in 500 meters. So voice navigation on the iOS is not as good as voice navigation on the Android version. So it says in 500 meters, and you have to look down at this. We should say in 500 meters, turn right. Oh, there's the moon over there. Can you see that? Full moon. Oh in 500 meters. See, it just says again, in 500 meters. We didn't give you any directions. That's just another setting I have to say, but that seems like rubbish voice navigation on iOS. It's no going on the roundabout, it's saying nothing. Not saying, go left on the roundabout, take the third exit. Turn slight right, then keep. Turn slight right, then. Uh, it's not working well, the voice on that. IOS version. In 100 meters. 100 meters. Keep it. So a better route planner on Android Auto and Apple Car Play. To me, it seems to be a benefit on either um, because it's giving you the percentage of the battery here with Tronity, and it's giving you the arrival percentage. The ID3 never gives me arrival percentage, so that's one big advantage. Another advantage is it's always updating this battery percentage here. That seems to work on both. So if you've got an iPhone or Android, I think if you want a better route planner, I, I think it's worthwhile to have on either. Now, if you're going to choose a phone, because you want to get a new phone, and you want a better route planner, right, then go right at the roundabout. Oh, it says turn right, so it does say it sometimes, right not always. Now, which for me is a better version, Android or iPhone? So they were both had a couple of issues with navigation. Hopefully that's something a better route planner can improve. And they weren't big enough issues that I would worry about it. In 100 meters, go left at the roundabout. You see, it's working now, the voice navigation. But for me, with a better route planner, it's definitely better on Android Auto than Apple CarPlay. Why is that? because you've got this integration here within the ID3, um, just in front of your steering wheel, it's showing you directions, everything. You don't get that with that, um, a better route planner on Apple CarPlay, it seems. Perhaps it's something they may bring, but at the moment it's not coming. The voice commands are definitely better. The fact you can turn the voice commands on and off here with a button is definitely better, which you can't do on iOS. So for me, it's Android that's done it. The Android Auto with a better route planner is better than iPhone with a better route planner. But then the iPhone's got a few advantages as well. For example, you can put this into satellite mode. Neither. This map look here looks a bit better. So really, they're not exactly the same. There's advantages and disadvantages to both. But to me, overall, the Android Turn version right. is much better. 
please remember to click subscribe and thank you again for watching. Bye.